But yeah, we're back with Lucy's finals. Yeah, Ned versus Porcupine. Yeah, let's switch characters from Kane and we, 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 we're we gonna see now. We just saw a bit of Eliana and some Ran of last games. Ran. This game will be on Merchant Support. Let's just get into it. More reaction. Or just a really, um, like, button pressy character, so it probably fits Kana's playstyle quite well, but yeah. Let's see how you play uh, this. Ori has, like, amazing stock killing potential with Bash. Let's, like, uh, let's say Ellie level, Eliana level. So Eliana is, like, really, really strong if you know um, the combo rot. Combo rot in this case, I don't think. Uh, in and it's one of the bash heavy. Uh, yeah, Ori bash is really inconsistent to use as like a stock ender. Like unlike any other combos, you can just cover every DI. You kind of have to read the opponent, like what they're uh, doing to to really get it. But yeah, even in, like even on high percentages, let's say like on a let's say on a back end. Just charging a charging a special ledge. That's some red spy shit right there. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's uh... Yeah, Kenny's kinda chilling on the platform, he's going down for like some plat drops, every, every, like an up air every now and then. Oh, interesting weight on the platform there. Oh, oh. Lands and drops instantly. Yeah, I was hoping for a bash with those back air strings. One interesting thing about, um, oh, he just uh, waits for that roll in on the... Kenny, yeah, he's still both players just kind of weighing each other out, not really like throwing out options, kind of just reacting to what each other does. That's pretty good. Taking it slow, kind of vibe check each other. Yeah, Porcupine is uh, really, really quickly uh, improving player in the scene. He just like, came and started like already getting close games with the, let's say, like the some of the already well trained players here. And yeah. He, he got the. Like, one of who was like on the. I think he might have been the same place last ACS, but last ACS was uh, a bit of fortunate with like connection problems. Yeah, it was very sad. Yeah, that's rough. I feel like. I feel like Pokemon isn't really doing much of the recoveries that like, he, like, he used against the pre his previous opponents here. Like, unless it's letting him just do like a lot of F smashes at ledge, it just. Well, that that match is pretty big, so. Oh. Takes the proper action. Oh, he needed, he wants to, like, the fire up strong, like, to take the spell. Yeah. So like, or he's kind of at 2% now, but. Yeah, even without the fire, I think he should be able to keep taking the stock. Yeah, oh, they're still just trading aerials at this point. Pokemon hasn't really had, like, a solid, like, can't like string it, string in so far. It's kind of throwing out down smashes like that, yeah. <laughs> to really? try and see out the stock. He's taking the stocks at least, but it's a huge deficit right now. Oh, he can get something here. Oh, off stage. Yeah. There's a chance. We, we, we saw him like deal uh, no, uh, unfortunate double double deep on Dragon Ball earlier. Yeah. Is there anyone's game right now? Because. Like yeah, Ori's like Zed, it was a great Ori's really light. Is that when he just got like one down smash on the oh that's it? Yeah. I think maybe that's one of the reasons why we've seen a bit less of like the recoveries from Porcupine because Ori can take like a, a bit of the stage there by just when throwing the uh, the side B. Yeah. It's kind, of get, it's kind of getting caught out a lot with um, F smashes at ledge, but game 2 was seeing a uh, Crag. Kind of. I would love to see Crag gain uh, uh, in versus Crag Aikawa. It would be an interesting matchup. Yeah. Just, uh, Just Crag it is. You will Very funky action. Pretty really different. Oh, oh Shine Up Smash. Nice Shine Up Smash. Clean. This is just really good for Zetter, but really good counter pick for. Um, Pokemon here. Really? Why, why is it a really good stage for Zerwa? The side platform just let him recover like a lot more easily, which he probably needs like after the first game where he just got oh. gated out like a lot. And like the top platforms are like just really small so you can just kill like people like really early, even like Crag here. But 
but you can still cover the side platforms pretty well, but it's still not dead. You, 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 using rock and like n neutral and stuff really well, but Porcupine's also using the down B to yeah. just recover up double jump and stuff to yeah, recover. Well. Oh, oh no, rock. <laughs> The rock spike, unfortunate. A lot of pineapples here in these top eights. Yeah, the spaghetti ha happening. I'll get there. Yeah, off stage again. But not a bad position yeah, for um for Pokemon, especially with um, well, even even though Morpen likes the platform there to record. He might get like sent off by a fair like there. Uh, yeah. The right text, but he could have gotten hit by the fair right there. Yeah, every time Porcupine's been set off stage, it's it just been a, a, like a lot of damage, and sometimes you can listen to the stock. That's just really dangerous. Oh! Good, he's good for the he's quick name of problems stage, getting yeah. the stocks right on this stage with the ops run. Yeah. See to find the opening to do it. So. Ooh. All these nice we'll see something big here. Oh, Whoa. off stage. Spot. Interesting use of the down base, just slide off the bait out um, like an option from. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hadn't seen that. Like, maybe just to put fire on the ledge. So that, like, at least if, even if Kane recovers, he's gonna have to go to that fire. Oh, one really good tag from Warfine. I wasn't expecting that tag actually. Oh, oh, oh no! I feel like that's it. There's not much options for oh, it. Oh, yeah. it can, it can mess up that uh, <laughs> coverage there. But yeah, both players just kind of finding like a like trying to find something to kill. Kid is throwing out a lot of like fairs and stuff, and Pokemon just oh, doing down smashes every now and then. Able to take it yet at 144. Yeah. Oh, four air, there we go. That's a tough game to lose for Porkman. He was like playing it. had a really strong start there, but unfortunately, he got edge guarded a lot instead of burn, which is. It's how the matchup goes sometimes. It's, yeah, it's never good for uh, poor Setter Burn to get it off stage. Alright, going to game three in Tower of Heaven. Oh, Kane is better in Tower of Heaven. Playing the game as Dan intended. Yep. First two characters to be added to the game, I think. Yeah, I think so. Like the stage itself, is like the one of the first stages. Yeah, I think it appeared in the um, it's like in Super Land, Smash Land as well. Yeah. So. Super Smash Land. Fairly even right now. Just like trading hits with no large strength from anyone. Yeah. Right now, at this percent, like uh, hits from like uh, are gonna set set it off stage. Let's see what happens with the edge in, in this matchup. Oh, that could be it. Oh, yeah, that is oh, it. Right. Double dash attack. Okay, okay has a lot of pressure to the side, but like up the top, and he, and he just dies like any other character. So, Cerberus is just kind of good to see how stocks is there, like up smashes and stuff. Uh, in melee, a fast pump would like live longer, up, like you can send up, up ones. It's like the opposite, no? Yeah, kinda. Oh, he, but first, just kinda look by, like dancing around like, each other, throwing out moves. Uh, that could be, yeah, that's it. Oh, wow, that's very good uh, awareness from the Fortnite. I think the card there is like at that percentage already. Because, uh, yeah, as you said, like maybe the down smash he could have survived it, right? Yeah. Because, yeah, that percent, I think, I think down smash would have killed it. Like, it would but, oh! Yeah, I didn't see, I was saying like a combo, like a like mobile extension there with, um, put behind the platform, but, didn't see it. Oh, getting a lot of bubbles, but no follow up after. Yeah, Kenya's just struggling to like find a, like a good string in. He's like, Porpoint is getting these parries on this game, like I haven't seen as many parries on this game. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get punished for that. Maybe he didn't realize.
realized that was a pot. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a pot on the stage either, and so... <laughs> Big good awareness to just have it there, in your mind. Oh, yeah. oh, he just falls with the dash attack. I thought he would look over. Yeah, I thought it'd be like a down smash or like a. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. yeah. So, check pass me. I feel like I can just going like really high, like going like double jump, oh, air, air dodge after each stock, and instead of just goes in and just hits you out of it. Oh. I would say that. Yeah, of, of course, like on hindsight, hindsight bias, like that was great from Kane in, but. He yeah. he had the chance to like see the recovery purple was like probably just gonna land on the stage to have like payback yeah, and that's fair. And we see Porkman taking a game off. So this account is two one is it? Yeah, that was a pretty strong game for for Pork Fine. Let's see what else the like the random machine gives the uh, scan in here. We have Rano. Rano is like the character Kanan used to take the game of Makawa, the game he took on the, he took on the first set. Yeah. Like a very plat drop heavy, just area heavy character, somewhat. The, just really fits with um, the Kanan's style play. Not only that, like uh, Rano uh, can have a really good edge guarding against uh, Ceremony. Is that, so, yeah, with needles and like. Yeah, it's just. Um, often to cover. Instead of burning, switch over. With like quick stock from Portman. <laughs> oh, there you go. It just like goes for the pair of the wall. Going for a very aggressive down it uh, for there. there. Hank was, was not good. expecting that at all. I think Pokemon was either. Oh? Yeah, these run off forward there. So... Cover it like that. Just going back to the stage so quickly to like. Oh no! Stuff. Is that it? Oh! Yeah, these four warriors are just putting so much pressure on a Pokemon off stage. But Kaka's still back on stage? Oh no, that four there. Well, for Kanan. The four is so strong for Kanan in this matchup. Yeah, yeah Kanan just throwing up four there, like, as he lands, and every time it hits, it just does a lot of damage. Oh. Even with this yeah. more playing, this, this game looks like it's really really tough right now. Yeah, it's good, this is kind of decisive already, but who you knows? Maybe, um, maybe Pokemon can pull it back. But, but, no, oh no. Yeah, uh, he needs to let Harry punish. Okay. Moving platform didn't help that one either. Yeah, he's just flubbing a lot of Blessed Condo. All the all the uh, uh, flubbing a lot of his like, guarantee confirms there. I should cover it, but it might be a bit too little too late. Yeah. I think he's giving the pressure right now, just kind of flubbing his options. Okay. Can we get a roll in there with that down smash, but see if he can just... Oh no, that's it. That might be it. Last back here? Yeah. It'd be quite tough for a Pokemon to recover from Oh, and he does. Okay. Back on stage. Let's see if he can get past these special wall of aerials. Oh, he just misses one hit then. Another. Yeah, he's he's one strong forward away from. Uh, Kanan is very but... a lot more careful now. Because, like, he's going outside for the, for the sour as smash. Unfortunately, didn't send it. Any... Oh no! That's yeah, it. about about the eye there, and like, yeah, uh, really good. The eye would have killed you because like we could have died off the top there, and it's like game for Kanan. We're gonna that's be a uh, replay of winner finals, right? Yeah, we're gonna be seeing a run back between Akawa and Kanan. Grand Finals.